Hey guys, and welcome back to Clannad. So, let's just jump right back in. But still, I don't know of another person who I can seriously talk about this. Why are you with a person like her? Hey! You're not listening to other people, Okazaki. It seems the only one really left now is that scum, Sunahara. Hey, can you hear me? What should I do? Anyway, you can see me, right? You know that I'm here, right? Hmm. Please answer me! My best friend of all, Okazaki Tomoya kun! Hmm. You're still ignoring me after all the things I said? He seems to look really sad. Ah, Sunahara, you were there? You're totally slow in noticing! Though you said so, I'm not really an, in, er, an entity right now. What? Hi. Yeah, exactly, what? Right now, I'm just an illusion coming out of your dream. Oh, okay. That's why in reality, you won't imagine that I'm smart right now. Did you somehow eat something bad? By the way, Sunahara, what's the capital city of Australia? Australia? The answer is that one, right? That... Too bad. Though Sydney seems correct, it's actually Melbourne. Uh, now that you say it, it feels like that really is the answer. It'd be good to remember that Mel and Born are the sheep siblings. For sure. You're quite different from Okazaki who's always fooling around. If so, does that mean she's a dream too? Of course she is. It looks like she's looking at me like I'm some un or some kind of unbelievable living creature. That's right. You haven't introduced yourself yet. Test your new technique right now, Kotomi. She nods. Konnichiwa. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Kato or I'm Ichinose Kotomi of Class 3A. My hobby is reading. I'd be happy if you could become my friend. What is it, Sunahara? If I'm not mistakenly hearing things, this school's number one genius just asked me to be her friend. Yeah, it seems so. This is a dream, right? Of course it is. It won't hurt you if you hit yourself, and that's the proof. Oh god. It really hurts, though. That pain is also in your dream. The truth is, right now you are dozing off while in class. To top it all, the teacher will soon find out about it and give you a lecture. Are you serious? Yeah. Look, he noticed that you're sleeping. I'm in big trouble then! What should I do to wake up? Try banging your head on the wall over here. You'll wake up eventually. Yes. All right. Oh, gosh. Let's go, Katomi. But, well, he's that kind of disease. Just ignore him and never talk to him. Is that so? It seems really serious. Oh, no. 
Wake up, yo hey! Wake up from this dream right now! Wake up quick! Sunahara leaves in the midst of confusion. Katomi and I also leave that place. No good. I guess we'll leave it at that for today. In the end, we ended up talking to no one except Sunahara. Even I don't have many acquaintances, and searching for someone who looks like they got time to waste is hard. We didn't even get a chance to use Katomi's new style greeting a lot. It's a pity, but let's go home, Katomi. Mm. Yep. We walk together to the shoe rack. I guess Fujibayashi's fortune telling came true. I murmur it as I remember things about yesterday. If I think about Fujibayashi's words, I wonder if I'm the reason this thing is happening. Hey, Koto- I glance beside me, and I'm about to call her name, but at that moment- <laughs> A familiar voice echoes from behind us. Kyo is running towards us as we turn around. <laughs> hey, why are you running away? Kyo quickly restrains her. A bully? A bully? A bully? I won't bully you! Good girl, good girl! Kyo clings behind Katomi, whose eyes are in tears, and uh, brushes her hair against her will. Like a stray cat who got caught by a little bully as she takes a nap in the park. Katomi is now at the mercy of her cruel fate. Her fur in the tail or wait. Her fur in the tail will stick out due to stress, so stop it. Eh? The kid has a tail. I have to check it for myself. Oh no. Huh? I thought you're more like a child, but you're unexpectedly grown up. Oh no. Did she grope her? Yep. <laughs> Typical visual novels. It's time to check above. Hey. Whoa! No way! This much? Oh, poor Katomi! Kyo, to put your hand on the same sex just because not many guys approach you is a bit. Hmm, did you say something? No, nothing. I quickly turned my head away. Well... This is just normal intimacy between girls, see? For a fellow friend, this is pretty normal. Normal, huh? Hmm. Hmm? What did you just say? Skinship? Intimacy? After that. Fellow friend? So, you are willing to become her friend? I refused when you uh, asked me to, but today, I'm the one who came. And a friend of yours is, is indirectly a friend of mine. And we have already introduced each other. She says that with a smiling face as she embraces Katomi. Incidentally, Katomi looks at me as if she's appealing for something. I don't have a tail. She turns around to face Kyo, but it seems she's still all right. And isn't it weird to be all too held back if she's a friend? I guess so. But we don't know each other that much yet. For example, I don't know what kind of food she likes to eat, what she likes to play, 
or her favorite clothes. Well, that's alright if we'll have fun, though. She looks at me with a meaningful glance. And don't you think she could be of some use? This girl. She's planning to extort her. Ah, and wouldn't it be much nicer if more people would or would play the same thing? Well, in that case, I'll be getting the uh, Rio. So wait, uh, wait for me here. All right. Uh, we are going to be waiting obediently. Life is precious, so the only thing I can do is wait obediently. Later then. Kyo runs off. Either way, Kotomi and I both exchange glances. Well, it really turned into something serious, huh? I really don't have a tail. She says that as she touches her own skirt to confirm it. I know that already. The problem here is Kyo. We'll need to do something about the next attack, or else we're dead meat. That said, attempting to get those sisters to befriend Kotomi was probably too much for her. Alright, if it comes to this, then... Well... Is this the place you think is fun? It's a nice place, right? The drama club uses this room, but now we can use this place as much as we want. It's fully equipped with stage props we don't or we don't know the use of. Right, Katomi? I say that to Katomi, who takes a microphone cable that's sticking out of one of the open cardboard boxes. She timidly pulls it out as if she's in a potato field. She tries to roll it with her body. Then, she tries to make a knot at the end of it. I can't move and take it off. I'm really in trouble. <sighs> Kyo makes a deep sigh as she watches Katomi put herself into trouble as she plays by herself alone. <laughs> well... I was a fool for expecting something from you. What are you expecting anyway? Something like karaoke or an arcade or a family restaurant or a cinema concert. Or something like bringing us to an amusement park with a big mouse. So basically Japanese or... Er, the, uh, Disneyland Japan. <laughs> Were you planning to go to Tokyo just now, j or now just to play? <laughs> oh god. What are you talking about? I mean California! I decide to ignore that violent girl's dream. Hey, Fujibayashi. I whisper to her younger sister. It really turned into something serious because of your fortune telling. I don't really think it's because of the fortune telling I made. It's because of your sister, right? Does she have any safety equipment attached to her? Like a tuner that will adjust her recklessness. Well, we've been living together, but I don't think there's something like that. Aside that, um, is it alright to use this room like we want? She asks me timidly while looking around the room. There's no one other than us. It doesn't use a key, so it's really alright. Well, as I was saying, 
I don't think it's a good idea to enter here without permission, so... It's all right. I know the club president, and she'll be here any minute now. I answer this, or I answer that, as I confirm Furukawa's bag lying on the desk. But still... Excuse me. There's a voice coming from the door. All of us except Katomi, who's amidst in confusion, focus on the new person who's appeared. Well, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Miss President, it's me, it's me. I brought back Furukawa, who quickly went to the hallway aimlessly. Uh, I'm sorry. So it was you, Okazaki-san? There are a lot of people who seem to be having fun, so I thought I had come to the wrong room. You should love and have more faith in your club room. Well, I wonder who's the club president. Even more, you're not quite aware of that. It's you. You! You started this by yourself, right? This drama club. Then wouldn't it make, or then wouldn't that make you the president, right? Well, it, but it doesn't mean it would be me, though. You started it all, and everyone here gathered up. Or would you rather let the drama club disappear? That's all right. Then do your best, Miss President. She ponders for a while after that. I understand. I'll be the president. That's what she told us. I may be an incompetent leader, but please let's work hard. Yeah, well, I brought a lot of interested people who want to check the club. Interested people? Uh, well, it will take long if we talk about it. Kyo looks at me suspiciously as if wa as if uh, wanting to say something while I blunder my answer. At that time, Furukawa sees and recognizes Katomi. And she's still fighting with the microphone cable as usual. She somehow manages to escape from her entrapment and run towards Furukawa. She quickly bows her head as she holds her skirt with both hands. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Ichinose Katomi of Class 3A. My hobby is reading. I'd be happy if you could become my friend. Then she bows once more. It seems it can't be helped that she wants to use her new greeting style. Yes, with pleasure. Furukawa honestly responds to the introduction, without even thinking that it's their second time introducing each other. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Furukawa Nagisa of Class 3B. My hobby is doing drama plays. As there's a car driving by. Oop. <laughs> not my problem. Or not my fault, really. I'd be happy if you could become my friend. Yes, I would be glad. The pleasure is mine. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Fujibayashi Ryo of Class 3D. My hobby is fortune telling. I'd be happy if you could become my friend. Yes, with pleasure. Yes, I would be glad. 
Katomi's self-introduction suddenly jumps from one person to another like a strange disease. Hey, Onei-chan! You should introduce yourself too! Eh, me? Well... I'm Fujibayashi Kyo of Class 3E. My, er, my hobby is bullying weak people. If you could become my friend, then I would be... Hey, who's bullying weak people? Oh gosh. D did you see that, Katomi? That unbelievable move just now? It's a sudden drop kick. Tsukomi. And I am all out of time for this episode, guys. I went on just a tiny bit longer just to get to a good stopping point, and I think that this is good enough. So, if you like this episode, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye